Some survivors of the Second World War and the Korean conflict are at the Hotel Grand Pacific in Victoria telling their stories. It's a Canada-wide oral history program called the Memory Project, a national archive. Bruce Kirkpatrick reports today's stories concentrated on Korea. Five years and one month after the guns of the Second World War fell silent, the guns of Korea roared to life. There were 7,000 Canadian troops in Korea. 516 lost their lives in the conflict. Some of them gathered in a hotel in Victoria today to become part of the memory project. I was captured and put in a very small cell and I was at this stage, uh, I'd stolen a candle and a match and this Chinese guard got very upset seeing me huddled over this candle and I guess he thought I was praying. Gordon was a pioneer officer in the 3rd Battalion, Royal Canadian Regiment. He was an explosive specialist. He was involved in the last Canadian battle of the Korean War in 1953, when he was hit by shrapnel and captured by North Korean forces. Put in a tiny cell, he was assaulted by a North Korean soldier who... Put the rifle to my head and pulled the trigger. The bullet didn't fire. He threw the rifle in the corner and went running away screaming. The bullet had been struck but hadn't fired. The next morning the general, Chinese general, came down to ask me what had happened with the interpreter. I repeated my story. He said, hmm, anytime you want to pray from now on it's all right. Gordon Owen made a calendar in his cell and wrote his own rudimentary dictionary so he could understand what some of his guards were saying. His story will be documented forever by the Memory Project. Each veteran that we interview is going to have an audio clip, photographs, um, and it's all going to be there for the public to see. Also here, Nesta Bass, a British Army nurse in the early 1950s, stationed in Seoul, taking care of the war wounded with a cape and patches. All the boys that we nursed, I asked them for shoulder flashes or regimental badges. Hundreds of Allied soldiers were released from North Korea in 1953 and a line of division was drawn on the 38th parallel. Gordon lived to dance with his wife. On his car, a salute to troops. He was one of them. For more information or to contribute to Canada's Memory Project, you can visit them online at www.thememoryproject.com. The project is at Nanaimo's Dorchester Hotel tomorrow.